Hey everyone, it's me, Deb. I wanted to do a video real quick. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails asking about why I chose lap band over gastric bypass. So I just wanted to tell my story um, for my new subscribers and those that haven't followed my videos from the beginning. Um, to start, when I first went to a surgeon, which is not the surgeon that I ended up with. He told me that, um, as actually the um, the scheduler or nurse practitioner or whoever it was at the time had came in first and told me that um, with my insurance that the surgeon would only do uh, lap band, that he wouldn't do gastric bypass. And I was about to walk out. And just because for the fact that I, I wasn't given an option at that point. Then um, she's like, well, hold on, let me go talk to him. I'm going to talk to the surgeon about your case and um, your history and this and that and see what he says. So she comes back about 15 minutes later and tells me that since I have factor five, there is no way that him or any other surgeon in the U.S. will give me gastric bypass. Um, and when I went into my, con this is at my consultation, and when I went in there, um, I wasn't very educated about both surgeries. I only knew that, um, lap band was slower and gastric bypass, you can lose weight faster in the first six months. So I did, at that point, have my heart set on gastric bypass because I was anxious to lose the weight fast. Um, then some things had happened and that surgeon refused to do my surgery within a timely manner. He wanted to put it off another 30 to 45 days because of my factor five, which, uh, I had all my life and it's never going to go away. So 30 to 45 days, it's not going to make a difference anyway. He also refused to, um, work with my PCP and the intervention radiologist who put a filter in me. So then I started my search for a new surgeon. I found Dr. Tilkist in um, Denver, Colorado. He, um, him and his staff were very, very compassionate. They talked to me about the, the lap band and the gastric bypass and um, they gave me the option of which one I wanted. And he, uh, Dr. Tokis, had experience with Factor Five patients and um, said that he has done it on them before, that gastric bypass, that there's not, um, there's some more risk involved, like I'd have to be under longer so I can clot easier, and there's also no proven um, studies of whether or not you absorb Coumadin properly. So, um, his factor five patients that do have gastric bypass, um, are on Lovenox instead of Coumadin. And I just couldn't see myself giving myself Lovenox shots for the rest of my life. Um, also, uh, the vitamin deficiencies and risks involved in that scared me to pieces. Um, I want the surgery to become healthy, not to have more problems. And I'm not saying that the gastric bypass, if you have gastric bypass, you're going to have vitamin deficiencies. And I'm not saying that if you have gastric bypass, you're going to be unhealthy. I just, I am just saying that it scared me to death. And for me, I felt that the lap band was safer, more effective, more permanent, long term. And um, something better for me because I do have um, self-control. I didn't binge and I wasn't um, like a big pop drinker or a sugar freak or anything like that. So I knew that the lap band, the only, my only problem was the way that I was eating, the, the lack of exercise that I was getting, and portion control. And for me, the, that, the lap band solved everything for me. That's all that I needed was mainly something to control my portions. And um, 
like I said before in other videos, I you know I've lost a lot of weight on my own so far, but <clears throat> there's no say saying how how long it would last, and I would, didn't want to take the risk of gaining the weight back or um, doing all this work and then just giving up or something. So I think the lap band pushes me to that that long term permanent um, part of losing weight and becoming healthy. Um, I think that's about it. It was mainly the vitamin deficiencies that scared me and my Coumadin um, that scared me away from gastric bypass. I know people that are successful and fail at both surgeries. So you just really have to think of which one's best for you, which one's um, how much risk you want to take, if any at all, and um, what you're able to handle. Because if, even if you have gastric bypass and you, for example, you can only have a certain amount of grams of sugar or you're going to dump, if you don't have any self-control and if you're not um, serious about this, you're going to get sick. You're going um, <clears> to <throat> gonna still make bad choices, whether it makes you dump or sick or not and eventually it's, people lose that dumping syndrome and you can still um, make those bad choices without consequence so no matter which surgery you get it takes a lot of up here self-control and motivation and determination to make the right decisions to make whatever surgery you have successful um, I also believe that um, those that fail, it's because of their own failures and problems. They didn't work through their addictions, their um, mistakes, their problems, or whatever they had um, before, after, or during surgery. So if you don't make those changes, the surgery is not um, a miracle. It's not going to... You're skinny. You know, you're going to lose weight all the time and you're going to keep it off. No, it, it doesn't work that way. So you have to be committed, and if you're not going to commit and if you're not ready to make those changes, then you're not ready to have surgery. And for those of you that are pre-op, I strongly, strongly suggest that you start now. Don't start after surgery or the day before surgery or when you have to start your liquid diet. Start now. Start making those changes now. Start... Um, <clears throat> stop drinking soda, stop snacking as much, stop um, overeating, stop binging. Or You know, I know it's easier said than done, but just start making those choices now. And when you have your surgery, it'll be that much easier and you will be that much more successful. So just please keep that in mind. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend. And I hope that answered your questions. And um, I'm saying end a lot. <clears throat> After I get back from my son's game, I will try to make another video because I've also had a lot of emails asking why I had the Real Lies band instead of the Lap band, and I will talk about that in another video, and hopefully it'll be today. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Have a good day.